This is Laura Hunter. I'm the CEO of Tori Buck Cosmetics and the inventor of Magnetic Eyeliner. Welcome to my Thursday Live. I have fun stuff to do with you guys today. Um, we're going to do a really fun makeover, which is obviously you can tell I don't have any makeup on and my hair is not done. So we're going to do a really fun makeover and it is going to be how to look like a classic Hollywood icon whose name happens to be Elizabeth Taylor. So that's going to be fun. We're going to look like Elizabeth Taylor today by the end of the day and some other fun unboxing things and, some fun, and just a lot of winners and all sorts of great stuff. But the very first thing I want to do is unbox our Makeup Fix and Makeup Fix Plus for the month. I am super excited about these. I am so excited about subscriptions, you guys. You have no idea. We've worked so hard for so long to get subscriptions to work, and it's so amazingly fun to have them actually going out and to see the boxes go out. Love it. Okay, I don't usually unbox stuff, and so I, I would say I'm a bad unboxer, but I don't, I don't know. Let's find out if I am. All right, so first of all, they come in our really fun Tory Bell boxes, so you have a fun surprise in the mail. It's always good to have an actual box for unboxing, right? All right, and voila. All right, and they are packed with fun things, all sorts of fun red and gold. So one of the reasons I love the red and gold in here, you guys, is actually because a lot of people like to do pictures and super Instagrammable and I guess Facebookable if that's a thing. And it's also fun to play with. All right, so we'll take this out, that over there. All right, and voila. That is so pretty. Okay, so this month, if you subscribe to Make It Fix, you got in the mail the Social Butterfly Lashes. These are super beautiful. And of course I knocked it right off its little base. I'm gonna open up so you can see them better. All righty. Social Butterfly is beautiful. It is, I think you guys are really gonna like these. They are, I wish you could see them better online, but I think we probably have some graphics of them later. But anyway, they're so pretty. They have, um, they're like very, they're kind of spiky. And they have, can you tell that, can you guys see the dimension? They have a lot of dimension to them. So they, they have a lot of curl to them. And they're, they're not really, really dense. So they look really natural, even though they're very long. They are super, super beautiful. By looking at them, I'm going to guess that these are, but I'm pretty good at this game, between 11 and 20 millimeters long. So if that's not exactly right, it's darn close. There they are, aren't they beautiful? How pretty are these? And I'm gonna use them in my tutorial. I've decided that this is what Elizabeth Taylor's lashes happen to look like. And they, hers actually do look quite a bit like that. And then one of my new favorite, favorite lashes, the Imagine Lash. So this is a lot like an Epic, but it's more filled in. So the Epic has like little gaps in it, purposefully of course. Um, but the Imagine does not, and it's a little bit thicker. So it's it's sort of like the next generation of Epic. I love these. It's one of my new very, very favorites. And it's also the lashes are a little bit more, um, how would I describe that? I guess they're, let me open it up. Do you have a visual of these ones, Eddie? The Imagines? Okay. He said no. All right, I'm not opening it up because, oh, here we go. I was like, where's the thingy? There it is. I was going to say, I know they have a little deal. It's always more fun to open them anyway. They're probably like, great, now we can't sell those. Oh no, I'll have to take them home with me. All righty, here we go. So let me give you guys a good view of these guys. All right. So the um, Epics, they're more like straight, straight down. I'm just dropping garbage on the floor, you saw that. It's fine, I'll get it later. Okay, so these are more, um, they have a little bit more angle to them, crisscross angle like this where the epics are more like straight with little gaps. They are super duper pretty. I hold them up to my face, does that help? But you can see, I mean, they're long and they're thick and they're really, really beautiful. And these are illusion lashes. So these are um, the more invisible band that you can wear on your lashes or on your skin. You can actually do that with all of our lashes, but these are more meant for that. And you wear them with the mascara or the gold eyeliner. Alrighty, what else do we have here? Oh, anchors. Oh, this is so handy too with illusion lashes because it's always nice to have anchors with your illusion lashes. Is that anchors? <gasps> Wait, it's not. This is something new. <gasps> oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this was in here. It's a similar box though. And P.S. it is handy to use anchors with your illusion lashes sometimes. So that 
it's not a bad thing. I'm having, but this is like Christmas. I didn't even know these were in here. Okay, off they go. Alrighty. Oh, yay, I'm so excited about these, you guys. Look at, we have our very own lash scissors. Everybody keeps saying we need to make, and you guys, look at, it has our little, it has our quad logo on it. Isn't it cute? So everybody's saying we need our own lash scissors, and these are really nice, high quality ones. So they're very easy to snip through. Oh, I'm excited about that, and I'm going to use them to trim my social butterflies when we do our makeover. Okay, so I'll put those together right there. And we have, oh, I love Enology. Of course, I'm blind, so I can't tell which color I'm looking at. Let's see. It is Bellini. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember last week when I accidentally used Bellini before we made it official? All righty. And we have our Bellini. This is such a great color. This is of all the... This is my favorite of the um, of the shimmery ones, and um, my favorite of the ones that aren't shimmery is the Pinot Noir. These are amazing, and this is why we named them. I think you guys are right that um, Lauren, our product director, and I were in California. I think it was we were different. Anymore. I was like, gosh, you, it's too bad you can't just make a lip stain out of wine because I like this color. And we were both like, oh, that's an idea. All right, so it's on this on. Purple. I'll be going over it later. I love this color. Isn't this a nice color? It's so neutral. It's a little darker and a little bit um, warmer than the pink champagne. So, super fun. Alrighty, guys, that, there's nothing in there, okay, good, that was our makeup fix, yay, for June, and you guys can always get that on the website, so um, the way it's set up on the website is that you can go in there and you can subscribe, um, if you subscribe after the 15th, you get the next month's makeup fix, but you can also choose this month's, so you can pick either one, which is great, I love that, so you can still get the things in there. And that was the plus, but the makeup fix is in it. Yes. Yeah, makeup, that was makeup fix and the makeup fix plus. All right, you guys, we are going to see if we can look like Elizabeth Taylor. All right, Eddie, show us some pictures of Elizabeth Taylor here. So she has such an iconic style. And she also was really known for wearing turbans, which is kind of an unusual thing. And, um, she she's just so beautiful and she was um kind of rumored to be the only person ever to have lilac eyes um they're not really lilac though i after looking at like a million pictures of her i realized they're actually blue and they just reflect a lot what she's wearing but she had just ridiculously beautiful eyes i cannot make my eyes blue but other than that i i think we can uh, get this look going all right so eddie let's show us our bottom thirds there so that we can look at this all right, so first, we're going to start right off about once we get to eyes. Oh, I should actually do eyes first because I can't. I don't have any foundation on. We will do eyes first. All right, so I found the coolest video of um, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know how old she was. She was probably closer to my age, like in her late 40s or early 50s, um, putting on her eyeshadow, which I thought was so cool. So we can actually see how she actually did it. Um, she does not do it quite the way that we're going to do it. I think things were a little bit different back then, but let's take a peek at the video and we'll check it out. Oh my gosh, isn't that super fun? All right, holy like eyeliner Batman, right? I was like, wow, that's that's a lot, but we can do it, we're gonna do it. All right, so I'm gonna start with eyes. Here we are, so I've got my palette here and I have a few different palettes that I brought over here with me and I know we're definitely going to use, oh, where'd it go? I know I had it. Well, what'd I do with it? Somewhere, there it is. 
Ha, flat earth. So I have my flat earth palette, and I think we're going to pr primarily use this one. But I did bring over a few other palettes just in case. All right, so you can see most of her makeup is matte, and there's a lot of black going on. All right, so I'm gonna grab my mirror, and then after we do our eye makeup, then we'll do the rest of it. All right, so as you guys saw, she had on, um, she already had on eyeliner, and then she went over it with eyeshadow. So I've got my black of the works, works brush, bam, and I'm just gonna make it look just like hers looked. And I get some, she had a lot on. And she did the top and the bottom, and it looks like she did like half of her waterline on the bottom, so we'll do that too. So let's start with the top. Move this over here. Get the old lady mirror out. There we go. Which, I don't know if I've shown you guys this mirror very much, but it's like, it's one of these little guys that stuck to my regular mirror. That it got moved on me, so I'm going to move it again. There we go. All right, here we go, lots of black. So I'm gonna go oh, straight across at the top. There's things in my eye. I'll deal with that in a minute. All right. I don't think other than being on stage, I've ever worn quite that much, as much black as she has on. Might even like tone it down just a wee bit and do the dark brown. Just like it's a lot. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna go with the dark brown. I just feel like that's gonna be better. Yeah, that's not quite so harsh. And I don't know that. I don't think her black was all the way black. I think it was a grayish black. So this is probably a much better choice. All right, she had just a little wing. Can't really see it though. You can see it. If you guys look at the corner of her eye, it really comes out quite a ways where she's drawn it on from her actual eye. So I'm going to go under here and I'm going to go out, fill that in. How far do we think that is? Like, that's like a half an inch. She's like out a ways. So here we go. And under there. It's funny because I never put on this much, this much eye makeup. It's like, oh, we're doing this. And I wear a lot of eye makeup sometimes. It, you know what else is funny? Is that I always kind of considered her to be like natural beauty look, you know? And so I was surprised when I really took a look at it, how much makeup she really wore on her eyes. And I also noticed that after she played Cleopatra, she wore a lot more. Which I thought that was interesting. I think she got used to the look. Okay. Do. It's always harder to do this side because I have to kind of do it backwards so you can see me. All right. So we'll go way out before. So fun fact, Stacy uh -huh. just shared with me that Elizabeth Taylor had a genetic mutation. I know. She had a double row of eyelashes. I know. I was going to tell you guys this. Okay, so when she was, um, good call, Stacy. by the way. When she was 10, in her first movie, um, it was uh, Roddy McDowell was the star of the movie, and he was only 13, and he, in his biography, he told the story where he remembered that her first day on set, they said, get that kid off the set and take all that eye makeup off her, and so they grabbed her and scrubbed her and scrubbed her, and she didn't have any eye makeup on, and that's how they found out she had a double set of eyelashes. So I thought that was kind of a cool story. She was in so many movies. This particular picture is from a movie that wasn't actually very well known called Ash Wednesday. All right, let's see, how are we doing here? Are we looking about equal? No, this one needs more on top. All right, I already look more like her with all this on. Okay, there we go. That's working. Okay, so then, as we saw in the video, she takes a whole lot of real dark <laughs> and she does across here and under here and then she goes in here but not quite as dark so let's grab in my flat earth and a brush let's go with small angle brush here okay guys i have so many things on my list of to do's 
and one of them is to um, make you guys a brush guide. But I'm going to be out of town for about a, almost a week um, starting tomorrow. So it'll be at least another week. But it is on my guide, on my to-do list to make that guide, and I'm not going to forget to do it. All right, here we go. Whole bunch of black. And she was, like, just aggressive, man. She was, like, just doing it. So I didn't put very much on the brush because it made me nervous. She already had the light color on when she did hers, but we'll do it backwards. It's funny, most of her makeup was done when she did hers actually in that video. It was like she was just kind of doing that final little bit. Let's see, like that. There we go. And then, where's my brushy cleaning? Here's my brushy cleaning. Get that all cleaned off. All right, and we're gonna get our blending brush. Does so many other things. And back into that black, it's called Coal, in our Flat Earth palette. And we're gonna do that under the eye thing she did, and we're just gonna do it. I have to say, one of the things that really surprised me was how big the brush was that she was using. That surprised me a lot. There we go. It just seems like a lot. It's fine. It'll all work out. You know how these things are. It always seems extreme at the beginning. She did. All right, there we go. So she also has, although you can't see it here, but she also has a little shimmer on. So I'm gonna clean this. And let's pick a shimmer, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with Stark Naked. We're gonna go with our Ivory Glow and our Stark Naked. It's not quite as cool of a color she was using, I don't think, but I think it'll be good. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to and insert that on my lid between those colors and then I'm going to blend that in up in here all the way up to my eyebrow there we go oh that helped quite a bit actually all right and other eye so Elizabeth Taylor was married a lot. Okay, I want you guys to guess how many times. So, I'm sure a lot of you will get it right because, you know, it's pretty common knowledge. But, and how many people was she married to? Which weirdly isn't the same number. I always thought was also very interesting about her. All right, I, should, I guess the way she does her makeup isn't really very difficult, her eye makeup. It's just a lot. All right, that wasn't too tough. Let's move on to foundation. Well, that was actually pretty easy. Okay, oh, I didn't do my um, the, my waterline on the outside. And I think she does her tight line too. We'll go back to our dark brown and our works brush. All right, so you guys remember when you do your waterline, gently pull down so you don't poke yourself in the eye, very gently though, because that is really sensitive skin. And you don't want to make wrinkles. So I'm not doing my whole waterline. I've never done this before. I'm just doing the outer portion. It's kind of interesting, huh? And then I'll definitely do my tight line because she does all sorts of stuff here. Oh, you know what I forgot, you guys? Mascara. I think I need some siren in the next five or ten minutes. I'm sure someone will run and grab it for me. All right. There we go. Other uh, one. It's an interesting concept doing your waterline halfway. I'm not sure why she did it that way. Let's see. Alrighty then. Get that into there. And again, remember, gently pull up or you will poke yourself in the eye and you will not be happy about it. It hurts. When you do your tight line. There. Alright. Good. I'm going to have a little bit of Probably wiping off to do under my eyes, although it didn't really come down very far. All right, now then, foundation. Okay, so she doesn't do a whole ton of contour, so I think I'm just gonna use 130 and I'm gonna do it old school with my fingers. Well, I might brush it around a little bit, but I think, you know, people, 
in the 50s, 60s, they weren't didn't have like a million tools they were using all the time. Cosmetics has really changed so much in the last, you know, 40 or 50 years. It's crazy. And um, so I figure if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it like she would do it, right? Which was probably, I remember watching my mom do her makeup and it was just like, you know. <laughs> Here we go, a little brush, I'm gonna brush this brown. I'm gonna avoid my under eyes for a bit. Get those all tidied up. Hey Eddie, is there a thing of tissues over there somewhere? I forgot to bring anything to tidy up with. I love our foundation. As you guys can see, it is very effective at covering up all the things. Not a nice even skin tone in a minute. And it does not take much. A little bit goes so far. It is so light. I love that it doesn't make me feel greasy. I'll have to touch up over right there, but that's alright. My eyeshadow. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to do just a quick wipe under my eyes just to make sure there's not any dark makeup under there. Oh, not really. Just my natural dark circles. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little 120 right under my eyes. I look like a raccoon right now. <laughs> Finger. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the contouring with powder. I'm going to use our Elements Powder Foundation for that. Okay. Let's get this all situated. I swear, it's kind of six of one half dozen of another because if you do your foundation after, then you do have to usually go back and touch up a little bit of the eyeshadow. If you do your, if you do it the other way around, then you have to touch up some of your foundation. So, whichever you prefer. I do think it's probably better to do it um, eyeshadow first though, because that's easier. It's easier to fix a little eyeshadow than it is to fix foundation. It's harder to blend it. All right, so let's go back in with our oh, wrong palette, Stark Naked palette. Where did I put it? There it is, with our Stark Naked palette. And a brush. And just do, because I got a little uh, foundation right there. I'll just touch that up. There we go. All righty. I think looking at her, it's kind of hard to tell. Will you go back to the other pictures, the bigger pictures of Elizabeth Taylor? I'm going to find, I don't want to take a really good look at the corners. No, it doesn't really look like she goes up. Well, except for in one of the pictures, but it looks like she keeps the, uh, from the lid down dark and from the lid up white. So there you have it. I might add a little bit more dark around my lid, but otherwise, good. Thanks, Eddie. Let's go back to the last one. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. So I'm going to go back to our flat earth. I'm going to grab my little blendy brush and I'm going to go with, I'm gonna, you can't tell the colors really in this picture, but I think I'm actually going to add a little bit of wine just because um, onto my lid just to give it a little bit more depth right along here. It's not going to be a huge thing. It's going to bring us a little bit more depth because she has such deep set eyes. It almost looks like she has make it more makeup on. So I'm going to try to imitate that by adding a little bit of depth with some wine. There, I think that helps. So you guys, when you're, when you're trying to get somebody's look, there's two ways to do it. You can either imitate their style, like use the colors and shapes that they use, or you can imitate them as a human. And if you do that, that means you look at all of the different shapes of their face and where their shadows are, and you contour those places and you try to both make your makeup look like them, but also add contour and highlight to change the shape of your face to look like them. And so that's what we're going to do also. So we're also going to add in that layer of adding, a, you know, a whole nother layer, which is the contour to make me look more like her. Okay. Eyebrows. She has strong eyebrows. This woman does. And it's funny because I've seen pictures of her without um, any eyebrow makeup on and they're not as big as one would imagine. She filled them in a lot. So Let's see here. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm looking at the shape of her eyebrows. They are very gull-winged, but they're bigger on the outside or the inside 
part, yeah, they're bigger on the inside towards the nose and then they get smaller and smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a, basically a triangle, hers are rounded, but we'll round it out after. So we're gonna start at the, where the last hair is. And if you don't have that many hairs, you'll wanna start up. I already have makeup on this, so I don't wanna touch it to myself, but straight up from the end of your nose. That's where you'll start. Most people, that's where their hairs start. Okay, so we're gonna go from there up and make a line, just a simple line. And then we're gonna go to the very top. I'm gonna go out a little further than I normally would and make a line so that it comes in. There we go. You guys see how that's going inwards? And then let's look at her. Yep, that looks good. And then I'm going to go up in the front. I'm not getting any more material on my brush because I don't want to be too crazy, even though hers is pretty dark. I'm filling that area there. And now I'm going to round it off on the bottom a little like hers is. So hers is just a little rounder. So I'm going to make kind of a little, I don't even know what you would call that, a little, um, just a little circle. It kind of reminds me of, um, what are those before the froggies, baby frogs, tadpole. It reminds me of a little tadpole. So add like a little tadpole head. It's like, what is that baby thing? It's a tadpole. Okay. So I've got my tadpole on my face. It's the newest thing, tadpole faces. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go, I'm um, making a triangle from there down on each side and then I'll fill that in like that. Hers are so dark. All right, so let's look at the arch of hers. Her arch is pretty darn like sharp. So I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit just by squaring off the edge. It's really you to just look at every little piece. Oh, you know what though? Hers is, my little tissue back over here. Hers is in further than mine. You see how her arch is more straight up and mine's over a little? So I'm actually gonna change that. I'm gonna wipe a little bit off right there. There we go. And I'm going to move that in farther so that my arch is more centrally located. There. Arch switch. I think that'll work. Mm. Is it quite as big? I think it is. That's pretty good. Okay, so same thing. We're making the triangle. Triangle. I have a little mole right there that I've always had. And Without fail, it's always, I have this like annoying bump when I do my eyebrows. All right, triangle, triangle. And then up, fill this guy in. It's very important that you do not dip your brush right before you fill in the front or you will look like a crazy person. You don't wanna do that. You don't really look crazy so much as you'll look, well, I mean, if you think clowns are crazy, it'll, it'll be very clowny looking. And then same thing here, we're going down, triangle, fill in. And I'm bringing that arch up closer to the middle of my eye than normal. There we go, oh, that one's I think probably better, maybe. Let's see, you know what else I don't have guys? Q-tips, we'll see if they'll bring me some. We'll calm that down a little bit and this down a little bit. Before it dries, that might. There, I think that's better. It just needs to be rounded out a little. This one. All right, so then we'll get our little tadpole head. It's the newest thing. I like the idea of the tadpole head. I think that's a really good way to describe that shape. Or a comma, it could also be a comma. I feel like that's just a bit too far down. There we go. I've adjusted my comma. I now have good punctuation on my face. That is so important to always have your face well punctuated. Okay, here we go. All right, we have foundation. I'm going to get out my powders. Voila. And got my powder brush. Give it a little cursory just in case it's not clean. And let's take a look at her. All right, so. She's certainly much more contoured around her cheeks than I am. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go into my 180. 
which is our darkest color here. And I'm going to do the lower part of my cheeks. Flip this guy over so I can see myself. There we go. And then this one. Our brushes are really, really, really amazing for um, for our foundations and our powders because they're very, very pigmented. If I were to use a harder brush, um, I would have so much makeup on, it would be silly. So, by the way, if you're going to use that really pigmented makeup, you're probably going to want to use the brushes, otherwise you might end up looking silly. Thank you. Q-tips suddenly appeared, as if by magic. Okay, so we go down like this. Now, let's see. She had quite a bit of shadowing going on here. So do that. Okay. And let's see, let's look at her nose versus my nose. Her, her, our noses are somewhat similar shape, but she definitely is contouring down the side. So I'm going to go into my small angle brush here, and I'm going to go into my 140, and I'm going to go just down in little strokes. I find that that is the easiest way to control it. It seems like whenever I try to go this way, I don't, it doesn't work. Let's go down. Little strokes, you know, I'm so tan right now from traveling, but although it helped a little, it didn't do very much. So let's go back to our 180. I can always blend it out. All right, let's see. And her, she has a wider bridge at the top like I do, but she has some shadow right here that's deeper. So you just look for whatever's dark, one little spot at a time, and you just copy it. Where she's dark from shadows, we get dark from makeup. There we go. Better. Still needs more. I think right, like right along there. Oh, crooked. See, every time I try to do it straight up, if I don't do it straight up and down, I get, end up making it a, a crooked nose. Okay, and then she is got definitely some color here. There we go. Good. Looking more like her. I suspect we're about the same age in these pictures. She looks like she's about my age. All right, and she has blush on for sure. I'm gonna go in my blush brush, my contouring and blush brush. And hers is from here to here, and it's like straight back, so that's what we'll do. She's got quite a bit of color, so we will too. I love blush. I just think nothing warms up your face like blush. It's always uh oh, I did my cheeks like I usually do. And I gotta blend that out a little because she doesn't do right there. There we go. All right, so we are getting there. We're getting much, much, much closer. This actually wasn't that difficult. All right. Hey, Eddie, let's look at all the pictures of her again and see, see how we're doing across the board, not just this one. All right. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. Feeling it? Yeah. I think so far, so good. All right, so um, she really wore signature red lipstick. So I have our Tory Bell Red and our Ignite Tory Bell Red. All right, so I'm gonna do the Tory Bell Red first. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the Ignite because it doesn't look like her lips are like a really deep matte red. That's more of a shine red. So let's do this. I can always go back and do more. All righty. All right, let's look at the shape of her lips. Her bottom lip is definitely poutier and her top lip is nice. It's pretty even. It's kind of similar to mine. Um, this side I need to make bigger. It's probably better, right a little more here. All right, and then we need to make this bottom much more full. So we can go way down. Overdo it just a little. And hers comes up pretty um, like tight in this little area, so I'm gonna make the bottom of mine even a little bit lower, but not in the corners. Again, it's just looking at her and seeing where, where does this shape not match this shape? Just one piece of you at a time. Good. 
There we go. I think that's reasonably close. Mm, this side needs a little bit more filling right here. Close enough. Alrighty. Now then, on to the lashes. Obviously, almost nobody has two sets of lashes by nature. She didn't have to wear any false eyelashes, but I do. So I'm going for social butterfly. She doesn't have in some pictures of her, she has just crazy big lashes and other pictures are, I wouldn't call them natural, but you don't notice her lashes as much. She probably doesn't have as much eye makeup or mascara on. Um, so we're gonna go with the, the bigger ones just for fun. All right, so first I'm going to put on some Siren Mascara. Normally I'd also curl my eyelashes first, but I do not have my eyelash curler with me. So the top coat, I just generally do one coat and it's really just there to color my lashes, to blend them into the magnetic lashes, just so that they don't have two colors going on because that looks kind of fakey. All right. And in the bottom, she, her, her lashes are definitely noticeable on bottom, so we'll, we'll put on a few coats. Let's see if I can do it without poking myself in the eye this time. It's funny how different my eyes look once I get makeup on in the mirror. They look so much greener already just because I have makeup on. Also because I'm wearing a red shirt. And red is the opposite of green, so it makes green pop. Did you guys know that the opposite color of your eyes is what will make them show better? So like if you have blue eyes and you wear yellow, your blue eyes will seem bluer. If you have green eyes and you wear red, that kind of thing. Um, I'm like purple and orange. Nope, nobody has purple or orange eyes, but um, you know, that kind of thing. So if you ever want to know what uh, is a good color for you to make your eyes pop, either wear the color that they are so that your eye will go back and forth and make them more noticeable, or wear the opposite color because that makes the color of your eyes brighter. A little bit more here. I'm just going to do like three coats of Siren. And I also need to turn this over because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, look, there I am. I was basically just guessing, which is never a great idea. Oh, and there's an eyelash in my eye. Get that out, okay. All right, that's getting much more noticeable. Yay, Siren, for building me some eyelashes that don't actually exist. I love Siren because it does not flake. I love it that it makes my eyes longer, my eyelashes longer and thicker, but for me, one of the number one biggest things is that it doesn't flake. I did actually touch it to my skin right here though, so we'll get that off. I always run a Q-tip under my eyes anyway, um, because everybody, I don't care if you're 10 years old or 100 years old, you're gonna have a little wrinkle right under your eyes. Everybody does because your skin has to have it there for you to be able to blink and sleep and all those things. And that one little wrinkle always gets makeup in it. So the last thing I do after I do my eye makeup is to run a Q-tip under my eye in that one little spot and basically just take the makeup off it. Nobody can tell. And then you don't end up with a weird line. Alrighty, lashes. Here we go. I don't think I got the eyelash out of my eye. Nope, I didn't. I could feel it. There we go. That's better. Okay. Oh, the plastic's already gone. Okay. These are our beautiful, beautiful social butterflies. Show them to you guys. They're super pretty. I think they'll be really good for her look. All right, let's see. They are a doe eye, which means that they're um, the same from side to side. So it doesn't matter which side we cut off, and I'm going to go with the outside. Not that it actually matters. Did I tell you guys that I realized that Kim Kardashian wears her lashes backwards? After I looked at the pictures of us together, hers were longer in the middle and shorter at the outsides, and I looked at them really close. I was like, she wears her lashes backwards. That's interesting. So if I ever do another Kim Kardashian look, I'm excited to try that. All right, so I'm gonna cut two or three magnets off of these because they're huge for me. There we go. And, oh, I forgot to put my liner on. That would help. Guys, I've got so much eyeliner on in general that I just forgot that I didn't have magnetic liner on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use the old classic. And on it goes. This one happens to be gray, but it doesn't matter because my lash line is going to cover it up anyway. I love that poppy noise it makes when it's well sealed. Okay. You guys are going to laugh when I'm going to kind of change my clothes 
um, when I'm done and, and change my hair. And you guys are going to laugh when you see what I brought. Okay. It's fun. I may or may not have got it at a garage sale. I like garage sales. My Uncle Andy, if any of you met him at conference, he is like the garage sale scavenger hunt guy. And he, um, I don't, there's like, like a picker, you know, like uh, the people who um, get stuff like that or like huge sales and stuff and then they sell them, he does that. And so he is the master of the deal. If, you, if anybody needs anything that you're having a hard time finding, let me know. Uncle Andy will literally find it for you. He's funny too, like my cousin Nick, he called him, Nick had mentioned that he was, um, Nick starting a new business, a whitewater rafting business, and he mentioned to him he needed a trailer for his boats, and uh, called him and he was like, I got your trailer, I got a great deal on it, I just bought it for you, come pay me. <laughs> I was like, there you go, problem solved. Okay, I'm going to do that for a second. All right, well, we'll give it a minute or so before we put my lashes on because we want them to actually stick, but I think we're getting pretty close. So while I wait, I'm going to do my hair. And by do my hair, I mean put on a turban. Voila. So I got this super fun turban. So I can't say that I've ever actually worn a turban, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of make a little bun here, tuck that in, and put it on my head. Stay, okay. I don't think it has to stay very long because this will be over it. I have literally never worn a turban in my life, except unless, oops, I shouldn't have looked down, I gotta fix that. Unless you count, um, like, washing your hair. All right, and then this should go down here. And it's kind of poofied out on her. There we have it. A little bit back further on the top. There. And also, let me get this little spot off that I just did there. Yay, Q-tips. One nice thing about her look is that it's very easy if you're going to touch something up because she really doesn't have that much makeup on. I mean, it's a, it's a lot as far as darkness, but it isn't a lot of colors or a lot of shapes. You can really just fix it easily. Okay. We'll have to fix the liner though. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, you guys. Am I looking like her? Am I getting there? I feel like the turban is like a, a huge thing. Like you have to have the turban. Alrighty. That, now it's gonna take longer to dry. All right, so the other thing, I'm just gonna reach over here. I bought this at a garage sale. It is like a hundred year old fur, it's in great condition. Um, I just knew at some point I was going to need to wear this for Halloween or something and it was $10 and I was like, I have to buy that. And Bob thought I was insane. <laughs> but now I have a chance to wear it and I'm so excited. So I'll be putting that on in just a moment. All right, so let's, let's cut our other lash. Where'd it go? There it is. Get our other lash cut. We can put that one on while this one dries. Do, do, do. Another lash. And cutting the outside. There we go. Alrighty. Now remember when your lashes are brand new, it's always good to give them a nice little um, bend between each magnet because that makes them a lot more flexible. You guys, Bob does not know I'm doing this. He's going to crack up when after I'm done with my live, I show up with the turban on. He's just going to die. Okay, let's see here. And on we go. Oh yeah. See, now, I, now I'm feeling it. Now it's got that, that look that she has where she's got like the little pokey. This is a really good choice. And since we have a minute while that dries, let's practice putting on an anchor. All right, so guys, remember, very, very important to again, just like, um, make sure I don't have two there, nope. Just like when you're um, doing your tight line, your water line, you wanna hold your skin up a little Put this on your skin and just drag it out until it attaches, like that. 
so much easier. Do the other side. Oh, we can't do the other. Oh, we can do the inside. It's like other side. Wait, I have my lash on it. The insides are always harder for me. But if I do it that way, it really helps. Okay, next one. I think probably dry enough. I have to fix that spot though again. Let's see. Q-tip. Well, it's been a good. It's been a Q-tip day. I'll put a little makeup over it. Let's fix it. Get our makeup brush out. See what we need. Just a little bit of ivory glow. Cover up the boo boo. That'll work. Okay. Now that bending, all right, here we go. Yeah, holding the skin, you guys, is like so important because otherwise it's just difficult to get stuff on. Yeah, that is on there. I love our lashes so much. There we go. All right. I feel very Elizabeth Taylor all of a sudden. Okay, let's put on two more anchors so we're even. Again, we hold our skin up very lightly. And pull. And hold our skin lightly. Remember, ear to the mirror. That'll help you do it the right direction. And pull. Yay! I did it. Okay, so our final step is the outfit. Let me close some of this up so I'm not getting all over the place. You guys are going to laugh. I don't own a mock turtleneck like she had on so what I realized was my sweater um, is basically a mock turtleneck if I have it on backwards and it's funny because um, Veronica and I here can I have your sweater too Veronica and I had the same sweater on and we switched so that it would match better but I think mine actually matches better than hers so I'm gonna switch her back but she gives me the shirt off her back literally see mine's a little bit redder Yep, that matches better. All right, so I'm putting it on backwards. This is my big plan for the day. It's all about making do. All right, so now we have a shirt and the fur. I feel so fancy. I mean, geez. I see why she liked dressing like this. I mean, who wasn't? I just don't want to be this fancy. What do you think? All right, let's put that picture back, the bottom thirds back up, Eddie, and we'll, we'll compare. I don't know, I think I did pretty good. I feel like I have even more makeup on than she does. But based on the way she does it, I think I probably really don't, it's just the photo. She did a lot of these like very intense pictures like that. Alrighty. Well, I think we did it. We'll take some pictures later and uh, post a side-by-side -side with my crazy shirt and all the things. All right, guys, that was super fun. I am excited to do side-by-side, -side. it'll be fun. And I'm not gonna keep wearing my sweater backwards. We'll just go ahead and take that off for now. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so that was fun. I'm gonna keep the turban on though because y'all saw my hair, it's a hot mess. Okay. Let's see who won stuff. All right, we have our weekly giveaway winners coming up. And they are, these are our weekly live giveaways, the ones that I do. And they win a Jet Setter bundle with a classic black liner. And I bet Eddie has pictures of them. She, he does. We have Shanta Tobias, Ariel Baumgardner, Tiffany Bernau, and Chris Fabelli. Congratulations, you guys. You won an awesome bundle. Okay, that's okay. Our next winners are, they also won a Jet Setter bundle with Classic Liner, and we have our Teen Time winner with Alexa, ooh, Mia, I'm gonna go with, Everything's Fine winner, Dallas Smith, our Hip and Happy winner, Tammy Zakowski, our Eva and Vivo winner is Damaris Vasquez, oh, is it Vasquez? Yeah. And our Bubble Trouble winner is Shannon McCoy. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you for taking part. Let's see, we also have a big announcement to make. It is time to announce our June Stomp the Zero winners. Okay, so I'm gonna read you what they get and how you won. Okay, so to qualify, remember we do this every month at the beginning of the month. 
So to qualify, they needed to have at least 55 QV points, so qualifying volume in personal sales by 9 p.m. Pacific time on June 2nd to be in the drawing for a fabulous and fierce custom Tory Bell tote bag with their name on it and surprise gifts valued at a minimum of $100. And the winners are Janice Mest, Candy Skeen, and Nathaniel Ray. Congratulations, ladies. I'm super proud of you. Way to go. Hopefully you guys will be on the incentive trip with us soon. Um, I know everybody has tons of questions about the incentive trip in Cabo. My, oh, is, the, is this sound weird in here? It's like echoey where I'm sitting. Can you hear it? Huh. It's what? It's not coming across. Hmm. Okay, well it's not coming across. All right, so if I sound funny, it's because I'm talking through an echo. Alrighty, so we have the incentive trip coming up and I know a lot of people have tons of questions about whether or not they can bring people. The answer is yes. And can you buy in? Yes. And why? Okay, here's why. Because um, it, really it's just kind of a, mat a matter of um, ethics, really. I think it's really important that we don't take anything for us by taking it from someone else. And when you win one of these trips, that's awesome, that's what you win. You win not having to pay for the trip. But we shouldn't tell other people, in my opinion, that they can't experience the same thing as we do so that we feel better about ourselves. That's not nice. But we can certainly tell them we can experience it for free. So that is why we let people buy in, that's why we let people bring guests, um, because we don't want to be the type of company that doesn't allow people to experience what everybody experiences. Um, we understand that you know there are some things that people earn and some things that people won't earn. But this is our is our you know entire company wide incentive trip. It's a great time for our culture, and um, we want everybody to be able to come and enjoy it, even if they're brand new, if they choose to. So um, when you win it, it's not that you're winning an exclusive ability to go on the trip. You're winning a free trip that other people will pay for. So I just wanted to clarify that somewhat because I know there's been a lot of questions of, well, why do you let other people go? It's not special. And I think it's really special. And if somebody is committed enough to the company that they want to go on our incentive trip, I feel like that in and of itself means that they should be there. So that is why I know that was a big question I got a lot last week. Alrighty. And um, we will be announcing, I think next week, maybe the week after I will find out um, what the prices are and how the buy-ins work. Okay. We have the Mad Dash to the Birthday Bash. This is a huge thing, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to read you the rules again. That way I don't get it wrong. This was really cool, though, because you guys worked in teams and there was just all sorts of different things you could win, but the grand prize is so cool. Okay, the Tory Bell Birthday Competition wrapped up May 31st, and we had over 100 teams participate. That is amazing. So two teams of three affiliates competed for the highest accumulated sales. Our winning team will get a trip to headquarters to celebrate our birthday with us live next week. And they receive airfare up to $500 each, two nights in a hotel here, two days at Tory Bell headquarters and a special appearance on our birthday live. And without further ado, the winners are, grand prize winners are Amber Napier, Adrian Alex, Godsworthy, Goldsworthy, sorry, and Jennifer McCready, and they are Team Empowering Hearts. Congratulations, you guys. I wish I had like a big cheering sound effect because I'm so proud of you. Yes. Yay! <laughs> you know, that. I'm so excited. So I get to hang out with you guys next week. Super excited. Um, so the first day, I know that they will get to have a special dinner with some of our staff members. And then the second day, they'll get all ready for the live. And we'll do the live. And we're going to have um, just a lot of fun events for them. And they get to see how everything runs here. And we cannot wait to spend time with you guys. So I can't wait till you get here. And Birthday Bash is going to be off the hook. So be ready. Speaking of which, don't forget to save the date. So it's the 11th, which is a Friday. It's not during my live. It's the 11th, which is a Friday at 4 p.m. And it's one and a half to two hours long. There we go. So make sure you save that date and be there. We have all sorts of fun stuff. We have games. We have giveaways. We have all the fun stuff that we always do and some extra special birthday things. So we're really excited. I'm sure there's going to be some confetti somewhere because we can't survive without confetti around here. <laughs> 
Alrighty, and now on the birthday bash, the reason I didn't announce the other runners up is because at the birthday bash, our winners are going to do a live drawing of all the people who qualified to win the next two prizes. So you guys will find out who wins those cash prizes during the birthday bash live. Yay, I'm super excited. Oh, and I'm also gonna be doing um, some different lash style and eye makeup style makeovers on our affiliates who are coming to visit that won. So I'm super excited. All right, we have our integrity heroes for May that have come out. So you guys check out our integrity heroes. They are online, they're backstage. Uh, I'm gonna read you what it was that they were competing on. Um, they are people who do the right thing regardless of hardship involved, including living their best and mo most authentic life. They're committed to our Tory Bell values of don't be icky and removing the, st the stigma from direct sales. So thank you so much to all our Integrity Heroes. We are incredibly proud of you. And you guys check them out. They're everywhere. They're you know, in the Playbill and they're backstage and they're on the affiliate pages and they're on, um, they'll be on this page. So go check them out and congratulate them because they worked really, really hard. Alrighty, other fun things do we have going on? Subscription, okay, we already talked about that because I just opened the box, but Let's just go over really quickly because there was a lot of questions about it, like how it works. Um, so the makeup fix is uh, $55 a month and you get um, the guaranteed makeup fix that comes out on the first. If you subscribe to it, then you actually can get it two weeks early and it's about a week and a half early if you're Canadian. Um, if you're in another country, you can buy them, but you can't subscribe yet. So you'll just have to go in and buy them separately, but they will be the same price. Um, so that is exciting, but now we have the Make It Fix Plus. So if you add the plus, you get two to three more items. And um, those items can be anything, but they're valued at over $100. And so that's $45 for at least over $100, but sometimes it'll be up to $200 even more. We, we have a couple planned that are a little bit more. Um, so they can be anything. It can be cosmetics. It can be swag. It can be brushes. It could be tools. It could be gosh, lipstick, anything, really just anything, obviously lashes. And it's really fun because the cool thing is you don't have any idea. So it's like you're buying yourself a surprise party every month, which I think is really fun. So that's how that works. And like I said before, if you subscribe on the 15th or after, you're subscribing for the next month, but you can also purchase the month before. If you just subscribe before the 15th, you're getting it for that month. And it's explained on the page. So don't worry, it's not too confusing. Okay, let's see here. Got that, got that. All the dates. Perfect. There you have it. Okay, we have expanded our offerings worldwide, which you guys know, but I just wanna remind everybody um, that a lot of the cosmetics that have already been um, LTOs, like limited time offerings, they are back, like our lippies and things like that. Um, so that our amazing friends in the UK and Australia and New Zealand have a chance at buying those cosmetics too. So if you missed out on anything, get on the website. It might be there now. So definitely go and check that out. It's all sorts of fun stuff for you. And you'll notice that Ignite, Cinema Ignite is still up and that is also not an accident. It was so popular that we decided to keep it as a permanent item. So we will have three permanent shades of Ignite, Blush, Tori Bell Red, and Cinnamon. Yay! I'm super excited about it because that's my favorite tonight. So now I don't have to beg people to save me some. You'd think I would have all the stuff, but I don't. Like, we use them for things and they disappear and they get used up and then I can't find it and there's none in stock. I'm like, really? So I'm excited. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So you guys know our June makeup fix was Social Butterfly with Bellini. So that's the makeup fix for, for this month. So if you or to go and get your makeup fix subscription now, this is what you will get. You'll get Social Butterfly and Bellini, and then you can add the plus, and you get, with the plus, you get the Imagine Lashes. Where are they? The beautiful Imagine Lashes. And you get our new, where'd it go? Lash scissors, which are now hairy, because I cut lashes with them. And our new lash scissors, super fun. And next month, we already have some really fun things come in. Alrighty, guys. I think we have time for questions. What time is it? I need to get a clock. Oh, okay, one question. Maybe two. I feel like my lips aren't red enough. Should I put some Troy Bell Red on? Will we have a build your own subscription option? 
We will have a build your own subscription option. Yes, we are working so hard on that. We were hoping to have it done a little earlier, but these things always seem to take a little extra time. Um, yeah, we're working on it, hopefully within the month. Yay! Will any of the tools that are in the Makeup Fix Plus, like the scissors, be available for purchase separately? Most of the tools in the Makeup Fix Plus will be available for purchase separately, but not right away. They'll probably sometime in the next three months. We only ordered enough for the Makeup Fix Plus, so then we have to reorder them. But yes, eventually. Okay, I didn't get your opinion though. Do I need redder lips before we're all done with this no, thing? I think they look good. You think they're because does it just look different on camera? It might. They look a little bit gentle on camera. See, that's what I thought. I'll put a little Tory Bell right over them because I think because I just put on a gloss, my actual lip color is showing through. So I'll, I'll just add a little Tory Bell red here. Do subscription boxes get shipped with expedited shipping automatically? Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Do they? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna look that up and Jason. find out though. <laughs> Jason, I will look it up and find out. And let you know. Okay, now I'm gonna blot this because it's now it's a lot. Now I feel better. Okay, just couldn't stand it. Okay, anything else? One last one. I feel like I should pose. Well, everyone's excited about the possibility of building your own subscription. So. Yes. Yes. It is coming soon. Yay! Okay, guys, I think we did this. I am so excited for everything that is coming up, and I can't wait to see you guys next week for two days, both the 10th and the 11th. I will see you then. Bye. Have a great week.